Hello my friends, how are you doing? Christmas is around the corner, so today I'm gonna show you how to make a custom cookie font in Affinity Photo. Let's get started. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer, and I wanna thank all of my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. Also, this is my last video before Christmas. The next one is going to be on the 28th of December. So I want to wish you a merry, merry Christmas. Have some festive days with your family, enjoy the time, and of course, stay safe. All right, let's switch over here to another canvas so you can see better what I'm doing. And the first step is is to of course create some text. So let's go down here left side to the text tool and then you can click and drag this out to the size you want to have. This is gonna show you a preview. Let's go like this and then I'm going to write an M, capital M in that case. And here's the thing, what you want to do is to write this letter by letter. The reason for that is because we want to have a gradient that is unique to each of these letters. I want to show you why. So first of all, how do you get a gradient on a text? Up here you can see you have the font color. So click on that and you can choose gradient over here. And here you can choose the start and end color and also if you want to have some colors in the middle, you can do that. So let's choose one here. I will pick this from the font I have already created. And I would suggest to you, maybe look for a cookie design online so you can pick the color from there. That makes the job a lot easier for you. Or if you have a good eye for color, you can also pick it on your own just from the colors that you're seeing. Let's go here a little bit darker. Let's go like this, that looks good. Okay, cool. And so you can see when I click here on my gradient tool, this is ending here, starting here. So this is, limited to that one letter. And this is what we want because if we have spread this out over multiple letter, you don't have the impression of a cookie. You have an impression of a gradient that goes over all of the letters and it just doesn't look that good. All right, so the next thing we need is this dotted line. And when you look up here, you don't see an option for a dotted line. It's a little bit hidden in Affinity Photo. You can get this in two ways. Either you go here to View and then Studio and you have to look for Character, not Text Styles, but Character. And this opens up or alternatively on your keyboard, press Control and T, that is for Windows. All right, so with your text selected, this over here is the outline. So this is important for us and we will click on this and you can see here you have an option for dashed line. So let's click on this. And then what you want to do is down here, set it to two and two. You can also go bigger or uneven if you want to. It's really up to you what you want to do. Now, right now you can see we can't see that dotted line very well. The reason for that is because we still need to have a bigger outline around the cookie because this line that is made out of sugar is sitting more in the middle, not completely on the edge. So the way that we are doing this is that we are going over here to our layer effects. Again, there's two ways to do that. Either you click here on the effects tab or you click down here on the FX icon. The FX icon will open up a new window where you have all the layer effects with some additional options. So maybe that is the better way to go. All right, so let's click here on outline. That's what we need here. And then you can see when I grow that outline, the cookie is growing too. Now the outline color is set to black. So this is why this is looking a little bit not so great again. You can go with a solid color, but you can also go with a gradient. So go here for fill style and then select gradient. And then what you want to do is again, pick these colors here like this one over here. Let's do that. And then the other one over here. So we have the same colors for our outline. And this already is starting to look pretty good. I think I want to have my lines here a little bit bigger. Let's go like that. You can see also that the cookie is bending, this outline is bending around these lines. So I found no way to avoid that, but it still looks pretty good. Let's go a little bit smaller. Let's go like this. You might now observe that this doesn't yet look 
like the cookie I have down here. The reason for that is there's an extra step involved and that is that we need bevel. But the thing is we cannot use bevel on this. That would be great. We have to use it on the group. The reason for that is if I would use bevel here, it would be limited to the original font and that dotted line, but not to the outline. And we need to have it on the outline. So basically what you want to do is to write the other fonts and copy this style over. Now here's a little trick on how to do that fast. Go to your styles tab over here. If you don't see that again, you go to view and then to studio and then to styles. This should open up your styles tab and you can either create a new category here for your styles or add it to another category. It doesn't really matter. What you want to do is to right click onto your font that is selected and say create style like this. You can see it has created a new style. And so now what I can do is I push this over here. I hold control on my keyboard and drag this over and this all it actually already has the style on it. So this is another way to do that. Um, I want to show you in two ways, actually. Let's go like this. So you can now write a new text in here. That is one way you can see now the style is already applied. But if you would create a new text, you can then apply the style to that. Um, let's write an R here and the style is kind of there. Not really. You can see there's some stuff missing. So click down here on the style and now the style has been applied to the R2. So that's an easy way to do that. Let's delete that real quick here. And so now we have these two fonts together. And as, you, as I said, you can create as many fonts as you want. What you want to do next is to put them together in a group. So select both of them. So click on one, hold the shift key and then click on the other. This will select both of them. Then on your keyboard, press control G to put them in a group. And now with the group selected, again, click on the FX sign down here. And now you can go to bevel turn that on. What you want to do is to have the inner bevel and then create a radius and soften that so the cookie is getting nice and soft. And now you can see this looks a lot more like a cookie. Now there's a last step that I want to show you to make this even nicer. You want to hold control on your keyboard and click on the group. This is going to create a selection. Now with that selection active, first click down here on pixel layer and then afterwards, right afterwards, click on mask layer like this. So this is creating a pixel layer and a mask for that. And the mask has the selection that you have just created. After you've done this, you can go to control D or deselect and then click on the pixel layer. Because what we want to do next is to use our brush here. You want to set this to a nice big size, depends on the resolution of your image, of course, the hardness to zero, the opacity to around 20, 22, 25, something like that, the color to black like this. And then you want to set the blend mode of the pixel layer to soft light. So this is basically a way to dodge and burn because what we are going to do now is to paint on several parts of the cookie kind of randomly um, areas that are darker than the rest where the cookie burned a little bit more and this will make the cookie look a lot more realistic than when you just have an even gradient on that. Play around with that. It's on an extra pixel layer so you can always go back. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed that and see you after Christmas. Bye. Mm -hmm.